Hello and welcome to Cooking with Bay. I am about to cook a good bacon meal for breakfast. But the first thing we need to do before you cook is you need to wash your hands. So come with me towards the kitchen table. Okay, so we are at the detergent. I'm going to wash my hands anyway. My hand is all clean. Now we can get to cooking. The one thing about cooking, you need some bacon, you need your garlic, some onions, what is this? Onion flakes, pepper, and some salt. Now, what you need to first do is chop up some garlic. So what I have done here before, I'm butchering myself here. This is what I have prepared earlier, a small oil. Use a good bowl. So what you want to do? Put out there. Now, cut up some onions. Need to cut up the sides first. Oh, it is pretty relaxing when you start to cook. You don't feel like killing anybody. There we go. Get these chopped onions. Put it into this plate. So you got your garlic, you got your onions. Good. Now, what you want to do is you really want to be good with these bacon. I'm already tearing up from the onions. Now, the best way to open up these bacon is you need to cut a lot around the strips like that. So you can just easily access the bacon. So you're gonna get four or five strips of bacon. I am Tearing up now. I need to wash my head to wash my eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the bacon into these kind of cubes. Whoops. <coughs> cut the bacon into these kind of cubes. So I have prepared earlier. Right here. I was supposed to cut them. First, long ways, and then we're going to cut them wide. Try not to get them out of the bowl. So we can cut. There we go. There's all the ingredients. We've got our garlic, onion, our bacon. We're missing one more thing. We're missing the cabbage. We're going to get some cabbage. We've got some cabbage. Do we got some? Thank you very much. You cut the cabbages. Roughly be a little square like this. Our next step is put it all into one pan, starting off with the bacon. Low heat. Use some oil to cook some bacon. Gonna have to use some oil to cook some bacon. You're gonna have to drizzle that on around like that. That should be enough oil. I'm fumbling around here with the oil. Bacon in. Mm. I can feel the heat now. We're gonna have to wait for the bacon to cook. The bacon should be cooking right about. So we are not far. You want to wait until the bacon is nice and crispy. We are gonna have to cook the onions and the cabbage. I'm not gonna need that anymore. That's the one thing about the onions. They be sweet and savory in the same time. And that's pretty much the only vegetable you get to cook with. That's sweet and savory in the same time. Now, put the cook. We'll put that garlic in. Now look at that. Let me tell you one thing. There's this thing called onion powder. But we don't have onion powder. We got this thing called onion flakes. So let's put some in there. Salt and pepper. There we go. It is time for the cabbage. 
That's looking really nice. Now, the one thing you're supposed to have is garlic powder. We do not have garlic powder here in Australia. We have ginger powder. Mm -hmm. Banana. The beef of the resistance. That's the one. Come closer. Come closer. It's not going to hurt you. Very close. Come, 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 come. Next thing to do is dish your food afterwards. Enjoy it. Have some fun with it. Try and mix it up with your own. I reckon this thing might need a little bit of sauce. That's what I'm reckoning. Well, thank you very much for cooking my brain. Join me next time as I slaughter one of my victims. See you later.